Hello there! This is Xiao, and welcome to the first video in my new series, VoxFX PSAs. These are kind of an experiment for me. I'm going to be doing them in between my tutorial videos as sort of another option instead of doing vocal effects tests or songs. I'll be discussing quick tips about mixing, audio production, and I'll just be giving general advice. They'll be shorter, they'll be more informal, and they'll have fewer visuals. Today's topic, not worrying about your gear, aka avoiding gear acquisition syndrome. Now, getting new gear is awesome. It's always fun to get a new piece of gear. It's a good time. And it is perfectly normal to like upgrading your setup. It's like, ooh, I got a new audio interface, or ooh, these new speakers are great, or whatever. But sometimes we can obsess over getting new gear. This is gear acquisition syndrome, or GAS as some people call it. Now, there are many symptoms of GAS. You spend lots of hours online looking for better gear or arguing about which gear is the best, like, oh, this audio interface is better than that one, or oh, this plugin is inferior to this particular one. Another thing, you end up buying lots of gear, like lots of gear, way more than you need. When your music or your audio is like bad quality, you blame your gear for not being good enough. Or you look for a piece of gear to solve whatever problem you're having. Or worst of all, you don't produce, period, because your gear isn't good enough. This is a bad path to go down. It keeps you from producing. It keeps you from actually getting in there and doing the work. And that means you're not getting the practice you need to actually get good. It means you're not taking any ownership for your work. You're always making excuses like, oh, it's my gear. Oh, it's my microphone. Oh, my synths are stupid. Oh, blah, blah. Or, and worst of all, you end up wasting a lot of money on stuff you otherwise didn't need. So how do you fight GAS? Simple, don't worry about your gear. Focus on the gear that you need to produce and separate that from the stuff that you simply want. I talked all about this in my video on recording equipment and mixing equipment. Like you need a mic, you need a pop filter, you need an audio interface, a DAW, blah, 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 blah. You've probably seen the video. But you have to separate that from the stuff that you want, like, oh, I want a fifth microphone, or, oh, I want this particular synthesizer or third-party plugin. It's important to remember that you just want these things. You don't need them. And you don't need top-of-the-line stuff to make great music. You can make perfectly good, in fact, pretty awesome music using budget gear. It's actually a lot more common than you'd think. If you have all the pieces you need, you don't need to worry about getting more. Like, you don't need 18 microphones or 10 audio interfaces, unless you're trying to record 18 different sources. But that's the distinction there. That's all what you need rather than what you want. When you are getting new stuff, think about what you can do with the gear you already have. And most of all, don't use your gear as an excuse, both for bad mixing and for not mixing at all. Because ultimately, the gear's not the problem, it's you. You are the one that doesn't have enough experience or practice. Like all skills, mixing and audio engineering takes time and effort and work to get good at it. It's not going to happen overnight. And for many people, it's not just that they don't have enough practice, it's that they just don't know how things work or that they don't know the fundamentals. You may think, oh, my vocals sound like crap. I'm going to go buy this particular plugin. Or you could learn how to level properly or place your mic properly. Or say like, oh, I got this thousand dollar microphone. It sounds like crap. It's all buzzy and has lots of low frequencies. I hate it. Or you could turn your mic down and back away away from it a little bit. It's simple stuff like that. Just knowing how things work and having the basic ideas and, have, and having a basic understanding of the fundamentals of compression, EQ, level panning, reverb, blah, 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 blah. Just basic or even just something, something as simple as putting a mic in front of something. That takes, it takes practice. And more or better gear isn't going to fix the fact that you, you might not know what you're doing. It's not going to fix your lack of skill or your lack of practice. You can't throw money at the problem and make it go away. And frankly, in most cases, assuming you have a certain tier of like professional gear, the gear you have is good enough. Like you're capable of getting a great vocal sound with just 
a USB mic, like you don't even need an audio interface technically. You can just use a USB mic. You could use any old audio recording program and you'll be able to get a great vocal sound and you can make great music with just with the barest minimum of stuff. Ultimately, your focus should be on producing and learning as much as possible. Good gear can't compensate for bad skill, but good skill can compensate for bad gear. That's why you see like there's these big name mixing engineers. Some of them are like they're working on these like crappy little rigs, but they're able to make beautiful music with it because they know what they're doing. They know how to make gear, even bad gear, do what they want. So in short, don't worry so much about your gear. Focus more on improving your skill. You can upgrade your studio and get shiny new toys, but don't obsess over it and do not use gear as an excuse for not doing your job. Anyway, that about does it for this video. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want more information or have any questions about gear acquisition syndrome, comment below. I'm always open for questions. And if you'd like to request a Vox FX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. Also, let me know what you think of this new series. Is this something that you'd be interested in hearing more of? Let me know. Anyway, stay tuned for my next video. It should be coming out next week. Until then, have fun and keep making sound.